All right. So we've been talking about matrices, and I want to talk about determinants. There's two big things, determinants and inverses, that we're going to use in solving and using matrices. So what is a determinant? It's a number. Uh, when you take the determinant of a matrix, you'll get a number. What is it that they determine? Well, it determines if it has an inverse. If a matrix has an inverse. And we'll get back to that. And what's the notation? Well, the notation is you can either use DET like this. So DET standing for determinant determinant of A, or you can use absolute value bars around A, and that also means find the determinant of matrix A. Um, any matrix that is a square matrix has a determinant. So a 2 by 2, or a 3 by 3, or dare I say 4 by 4 and keep going up. Um, it's much easier if it's a 2 by 2. And we're going to do 2 by 2s by hand because takes a lot less time than typing it all into the calculator. But so what we do is we look at these diagonals and to evaluate the determinant we are going to do A times D minus B times C or C times B whichever way you want to think about it. So this diagonal minus this diagonal. So 6 times negative 4 and add to that, sorry, subtract from that, 1 times negative 2. So we have negative 24 minus a negative 2, so that's really plus, so we have a negative 22. 3 by 3 is our little trick here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar to what we just did and it's going to require the diagonals. Um, and so what we're going to do is extend. We're going to restart our matrix. We're going to do A, D, G, and B, E, H. And so take down the first column again, take down the second column again, so that we have three full diagonals and three full diagonals. So you have A, E and I multiply down the diagonals and add up all those parts and then we subtract multiplying up the diagonals. And so G E C H F A plus I D B. And there we have multiplying up the diagonals. So the down diagonals, add them together, subtract the up diagonals, and so we're going to do it. Here we go. Repeat our 4, 1, 2, and our negative 2, 1, 5. Here it goes. 4, 1, 3. So we're going to get 4 times 1 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2 times 2 plus 0 times 1 times 5 I'm going to subtract 2 times 1 times 0 plus 5 times negative 2 times 4 plus 3 times 1 times negative 2 So, we have 12, 
Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, plus a 0, minus 2 times 1 times 0 is 0, and we have a negative 10 times 40, so that's negative 40, and a negative 6. So we have 12 plus 8 is 20, minus a negative 40, minus 6 is negative 46, so minus a negative 46, or add it together, and you get 66. Now, that's our 3 by 3 by hand. Notice a lot more work here than just our little 2 by 2. And I'm going to show you again how we can calculate our determinants by hand. So notice again that a determinant of a matrix is just a number. The matrix button on a calculator is just down here on the left side. You have to hit the second button first. We did this in the last video. So what I did, matrix, and scroll over to edit because you're going to want to edit. We have a 3 by 3 three rows, three columns, and I'm just going to type in the one here, four, just hit enter and it just keeps scrolling over. I hit second quit to get back to the main screen, get back into matrices, and we're going to want to go, go to the math. We have determinant right up here at the top. So hit enter, and it takes you back. Well, what do we want to take the determinant of? Matrix A. And we get 66. Hooray, we did it correctly. Um, and so you can, we could have done it back with our 2x2 two two as well. But again, 2x2s, two why well, take the determinant of a 2x2 two two in the calculator? Because it goes so quickly. DET A. So that's how you find it. It's under the math of the matrix. Happy determinant finding.